Hi, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. But that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode, this time looking at Live Movie Maker. And we're going to kind of compare it to the old Movie Maker, too. So Live Movie Maker is a free, that's right, free program that you can get downloaded from Microsoft. It does not come with the operating system like the old Movie Maker did. Um, and it only works with Windows Vista and with Windows 7. There are some definite uh, pros with this program compared to the old Movie Maker. First and foremost, it's a lot more stable. The old Movie Maker always seemed to crash on me. It also has a better ability to import video files. There are so many different video files, uh, kind of formats, codecs, and different envelopes that they throw them in nowadays with these little mini camcorders that are out there. And this program has a much better ability to import those types of files. It has a much cleaner and more organized interface. It also includes a lot of simple effects and transitions. And he has a better CG, or which is a character generation application, so your ability to make titles and things is just going to be a little more professional and more precise. It he has a simple auto movie function that works pretty well, especially if you want to do slideshows, and it also he has simple rendering options, so it's really just a couple of clicks, for instance, to get your video up on YouTube. Um, however, there are some things that were removed from this program that were on the original Movie Maker. For instance, some of the canned fancy titles are now gone, like that one that looked like a newspaper. You cannot do voiceovers with this program. It is, they've eliminated things like slow motion and speed up. Um, and there's also no window for your project media. Uh, so everything just kind of goes directly onto the timeline. You have less controls over your renders. In the old program, you could adjust things like bit rates if you want to customize. And certain out, uh, outputs like DVAVI have been removed. So this is strictly, strictly for Windows Media Video type files. That's all you get. So if we take a look at the program, we can see that we have a much simpler interface. Up on top here, we have some tabs that will select different aspects of the program. And uh, so, for instance, if I want to bring in some videos, I just press Add Video, and I can just click here, 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 and here, and here, and I'm going to be able to bring those in pretty easily. Now, what is this? Is this a timeline? Is this a storyboard? It's really kind of both and really neither. Um, really, the only things that you can do on this timeline is you can move videos around. That will not happen with this particular program running this uh, CAM program. So, But normally, I could move things around. But I can't really adjust the uh, videos by sliding things, for instance, on the video itself. I can, for instance, find an area on a video. So I'll play a little bit and stop. And I can split this video pretty easily. Now I have two videos. If I wanted to, I could delete part and that would be a simple edit. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to bring that back. Uh, another way to edit is I can go into edit and I can get into that video and use my trim tool. You cannot trim here, but you can trim here for a start and an end point. And then I would say save trim. I have a much smaller trim and there we go. So I could do that. Here again, I don't want to do that. Now, this trim tool works pretty good if you have a uh, very short little video clip. It does not work so well if you have a longer clip. So when I was, I did a couple of my saving savvy videos using this program just to see how it would work. Um, these are very, very simple programs. I'm sure you already know that as far as editing is concerned. And the second one that I did, uh, he had a 15 minute video segment that I needed to trim quite a bit. That particular uh, trim was very difficult to do just for the very simple reason that if I'm using the trim tool, every little movement here meant a, a big movement because that video was longer. So, um, in fact, when I finally did get it to trim, when I tried to render it, uh, it added a second of video back in there, so that was unfortunate too. So, so the trim tool works fine for long videos, not so good as far as, uh, or it works fine for short videos, not so good for long videos. So if I go back in here, you can see that I have the ability to go back home and do an auto movie. Um, that is going to, well, let me try that again. We'll say OK. I don't want to add music to this. And that's going to give me a title, some credits at the end, um, and some transitions in between. So if we said 
There's this is my movie. Let's change that to my vacation. And I can actually change things like how that uh, vi that little title presents itself using some of these many effects. So if you wanted to do that, and if the end here again, I can change that pretty easily to thank you, and then also change the effects there too. Um, this automatically added some transitions for me, so I can just show you them, and some pans and zooms. So it's pretty pretty cool. And I can also alter that if I wanted to. So if I wanted to alter this transition, I could easily go here and I would go to um, animations. Let's say I wanted to change it to that kind of a transition. Now I have a different transition in there. So you do have some adjustment, but again, it's, it's pretty simple and you really can't control a lot of what you're doing. Um, to render the movie is very simple. I go back to home and I just pick one of my render options. So if I wanted to send this up to YouTube, for instance, it would just uh, allow me to log in and through a couple of simple steps I'd be able to do that. And it does a pretty good job at that too. So what is this program best for? Well, it's best for people who don't want to spend a lot of money because it's free. It's also great for someone who's never edited anything uh, because it's very straightforward and well organized and it doesn't give you too many options. And it really will be a benefit to those people who've tried to edit on their um, with the video on their software that, or with the software that came with their cheap uh, video camera because that software is typically really terrible. Um, and it's it's okay if you want to edit short and simple videos. I'll put together a couple of minutes of a slideshow from your vacation, for instance. Will this replace your NLE program that you currently have? No, it really won't. There are too many shortcomings that I can't even mention them on one slide, but just here's just a couple. It's really very difficult to do precision edits, although there are some tricks that allow you to do that a little bit better than what I showed you. There are no multiple tracks, so you have a lack of control there and the ability to kind of composite images and sounds and things are it's just gone. Um, you really have no color controls with the exception of some video effects, but really nothing to adjust white balance, for instance. And your audio controls are very limited to things like just volume. So you don't you can't really sweeten the audio, add equalization, or do things like that. Um, simple things that people are used to doing with a typical program like voiceovers or ripping audio from a CD are not possible with this program. And many FX are missing, including things like chroma keying, uh, slow motion, picture in picture, just to name a few. And of course, probably uh, very important for many people, the outputs are very limited to Windows Media Video only. So if you want to make a little video and stick it on your iPod, for forget it because it's not going to be able to uh, play on that machine. So there's many, many other reasons why you want to keep your NLE program, but this is a great program if you just want to get your feet wet, you want to do some simple editing, and you don't want to spend a lot of money.